today I have this board that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's about four planks and it has these little ridges on the edges. I started by spraying it with some water and I'm going in with some gray linen by Wise Owl. The water just helps me blend my paint together and it just gets my paint moving. Just a little mist. Now I'm going in with some Bowie. And now some Snow Owl. And as you can see, I'm kind of blending. You start at the top and then you kind of blend your color into the next color. And I'm using the same brush and all my paint is still wet. So now I'm going in with some gray linen at the bottom as I didn't like as much blue in it and emphasizing the white at the top. And then I'm gonna drag a little white down into the Bowie and then up from the um, gray linen up into the Bowie. And it just pulls everything together. Guys, this is gonna be a very easy project. Uh, I got these letters from Michaels. They had a little bit of a different look to them and um, I felt they were gonna fit perfect with what I wanted to do. And I painted them all with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. And this is my Klingon S30. It's got the short handle and it's a little smaller brush. This is perfect for crafting. It's becoming one of my favorites. And then I just take a cheap brush. I call them a chip brush. You can get them at a hardware store. And I'm taking some black and just dragging it along the letters. And it just emphasizes the edges in black and just gives some dimension. I've had the sand dollar. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to say maybe Christmas tree shop I picked it up at. They usually come in a stack or you can sometimes get them singularly at Michael's. And just a tip when you're stenciling or doing any kind of lettering, you can put a piece of blue tape across the bottom to just guide you to make sure everything is at least level and going to be straight. I'm using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue on my letters and my sand dollar. The E6000 is really what you need. We just use the hot glue to um, Adhere it immediately as the E6000 takes overnight to dry. And then this way I can make sure there's no shifting or moving. And there you go. Now you have this cute coastal home sign. Uh, this can work in a beachy bedroom, a beachy bathroom, or if you live in the coastal area, just a cute, easy, um, adorable sign. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube or chalkatafancy.com. Our tutorials are there as well. Thanks so much.